Hello guys, welcome back. Today in this video, we'll see how we can set up SSO in Jenkins using GitHub authentication plot. So we'll see a step-by-step -step process from scratch. So let's start. So before proceeding to the setup, let's first understand what is single sign-on or SSO. What is single sign-on? SSO is a method that allows users to log into multiple applications with one set of credentials. So what in it? They need only one set of credentials. By using that, they can connect multiple applications. So in an organization, there will be multiple applications uh, the users will be using. So instead of using their different credentials for different logins, what they can use? They can use their single sign-on, single applications login for multiple applications, okay? So what is the benefit of this single sign-on? So there will be multiple benefits. It improves the user experience and it improves the security, obviously. So based mostly what we do, we focus on the security part. So when we work for an organization, we'll always focus and be strict about the security. So if there are multiple user ID and passwords, right? The credential, there might be a chances of mishandling that, right? But using SSO, we can strengthen the security. And SSO makes it easier for IT teams to manage authentications, right? If there is single credentials to log in for multi-applications, then it will be easy to manage them, right? So it makes it easier for you just to access all needed applications without having to authenticate using different credentials. So these are the benefits of SSO. So now let's understand what is this GitHub authentications plugin. So what is this GitHub of? The GitHub authentication plugin provides a means of securing a Jenkins instance by uploading authentications and authorizations to GitHub. That means you don't need any credentials, separate credentials for the Jenkins. What you need, if you have an account, with GitHub, then using this GitHub credentials, GitHub logins, you can log in to your Jenkins. All what you need, you need to install this GitHub authentications plugin in Jenkins and do the setups. Now, let me show you what is the prerequisites and how we can do the setups. So this is only single prerequisites we need. Uh, it's followed by your Jenkins installations. I believe your Jenkins you have installed already and you have access to the Jenkins. After that, what do you need? You need this GitHub authentication plugin, that is GitHub hyphen auth, to be installed in your Jenkins setup. So let me show you how we can do these setups and access our Jenkins using GitHub credentials. So first, let's understand about this GitHub authentications plugin. So if you just go to plugins.jenkins.io, GitHub hyphen auth, you'll get this GitHub authentications page where it gives the information about this plugin, the latest versions of the plugin, and the setups, how we can do the setups. Everything has given here. I'll show you the step-by-step -step process, how we can do these setups in Jenkins with the required credentials and with the required security in place. Okay. Now, uh, before we move into that, I believe you should have the access to the Jenkins, right? So here I have already connected to my Jenkins server. Okay. So what do you need? Just go to the first login, this one. Go to the manage Jenkins and you know very well how to install the plugins, right? Go to plugins. And here, what we need, we need to search here GitHub authentications. And it should select available logins. GitHub authentications. So we got it here. Now select this one and install. So this is the normal way. I'm just showing you uh, how you can install it in my personal uh, laptop, in my personal server. But in your organization, you would have different way of installing the plugins. You can follow that one. I already have uploaded similar kind of video how uh, without um, internet, how you can uh, install the plugins, right? 
that is the offline installations of the plugins. You can follow that video if you're working for an organization. Okay. So what you can do, it is success. So what I can do, uh, just little, uh, let me restart the server. So it will take a few seconds to get restarted. Uh, by the time, I'm just pausing the video and we'll be back soon. Okay, it has now been restarted. Let's log in back. And if I go to this install plugins now and uh, search for this uh, GitHub authentications, see this plugin has been installed now. Now let's go to your manage Jenkins again. Now we have to set up this authentications plugins, right? How we can set up this. Now let's go there, go to security. Under security, uh, this security area, you have to set up. Now, previously you can see it was set up as Jenkins' own user database. Now, what you have to do, you need to set up as GitHub Authentication Plugin. So, this option came after you install the GitHub Auth plugin in Jenkins, then you will get this kind of options. Otherwise, it will not be there. Okay. So, first select this one. And here we have this GitHub Web URA, that is Uniform Resource Identifier. So here we have given us HTTP, by default it has taken us HTTPS github.com. As we are going to set up first the GitHub information, right? GitHub credentials. So it is taking the github.com, okay? So here you can see the API URI, we have api.github.com. But remember, in your organizations, there will be different URI. So if you are setting for your company, then make sure that this URI will be different, okay? You have to set up accordingly. So what you have to do? If you go to this plugin, it has mentioned here and also it has given how you can set up this URI, right? So if I just go below, uh, we'll find uh, this particular URI options. Okay, so if you go to this setup, particular setups, it just mentioned how we can do the setups, right? And in the security realm, right, it has just mentioned the GitHub Enterprise API URI ends with API v3, API v3. That means if you are using the enterprise versions of the GitHub, you have to set up the enterprise versions, the GitHub details here, your company GitHub account, GitHub URL, right, URI, with what you have to do, API slash version 3. You have to mention like this. As I'm not going to use this enterprise versions, the open source I'm using. So I can just mention as api.github.com, right? And here we have to mention the client ID and the client secret. So where we'll get this client ID? So what we have to do, we need to generate the authentication token, GitHub auth token in the GitHub account, okay? So let's log into your GitHub account, go to settings, under settings, you have to go to the developer settings and then auth apps. So we have to create one auth apps here. Okay, new auth app. Just give the application name. Suppose I'm just using the application name as Jenkins. I'll give us Jenkins home page URL of the Jenkins. So what is the home page URL of Jenkins? So this will be my home page URL. Let's copy this one and paste the URL. Okay, and what I need, just give the descriptions, which will be something I gave it. And this authorization callback URL, this is very important. What you have to do, you have to just press this one and you just need to write it security real slash finish login. Security real finish login. So these informations you can get it in the plugin itself, right? So if you see here, the important part of the callback URL is you have to use security real finish login. Okay, so once this part is over, what do you need? Simply click register applications, right? Click on register application. Now, what happened? We got this client ID. Okay, so for this client ID, uh, what do we need? We need to create a client secret. So click on this. I'm just going to get it. The multi-factor authentication is activated. So trying in this way. 97 approve. So as soon as I approve, you can see 
it's loaded right so what happened here i got this secret key also okay so what i need now i need this particular client id so keep this one uh, this secret key and this client id somewhere safe so that you can reuse it so once it is like i move out from this page this secret key will not be available again right so you have to keep it safe somewhere so that you can use in future okay so what i can do now let's test this client id and this client secret so what i'll do copy this client secret over here test it done and what do you need this auth auth scopes let it be there read organizations label read users email and repo and here in this authorization section right what you have to do you have to set up matrix based security select this matrix based security and you have to add the user okay select this add user and uh, you have to provide the github account name right so my github account is ranji for github ranji for github so just click okay so you can see here it is striped out user not found that's okay not a problem and provide administrator access to this particular user and any user you want to add just add the user account here github account i have added it here now let's save it okay let's save it so what will happen as soon as i save it it will come back to the jenkins login right so now let's save it i'll come out what is it access denied to whom it is access denied it is access denied for this account right if i just log out from this account okay and login back see it is now asking me to authorize the jenkins by using this ranjit for github account so i have to now use this particular github account to login so if i just authorize now it will redirect me to jenkins space see perfect go to the dashboard and see i have complete access to this jenkins now as i have given administrator access i have all kind of accesses for this account ranjit soon right so i just connected through the github credentials so n number of users in your organizations or in your applications working you can easily add them so uh, in your team members right you can just give their team members github account add it and they can easily get access so now you will learn how we can do the sso setups in jenkins using github authentication plug uh, i hope you understood uh, completely uh, from the scratch if you have any doubt or any uh, concerns please do write me in the comment section below i'll try to answer your queries if you have not yet subscribed my channel just do subscribe now so that you'll get notified when i add more videos in my channel